Hey everyone, this is uh, going to be testing the reception of the International Space Station using this ICOM SCR-30. Um, sorry for the noise, but as I was starting to record, the neighbor decided that it's time to mow the lawn, which is always what happens. So, of course, I'm in my back balcony, uh, and I am uh, going to try to receive it here. I'm going to record the audio and the recorder inside, then I'm going to show you in another video how I take the audio and actually decode it with a computer or smartphone. The main thing here is to try to get it. The station is actually starting a pass right now. So if I look, what I do is I use um, Heavens Above, which is the app of choice. So here it shows me all the information I need to know. I don't know if you guys could see anything because it's uh, quite, yeah, here we go. So this is what I'm using. Heavens Above on my uh, tablet here, 10 inch tablet. So I see that it's starting its path to the northwest, west northwest. And we're gonna try to uh, get that signal on the scanner radio. It's interesting to, uh, I'm, I'm, there's a double video coming up here probably because I have actually set up my SDR, well not my SDR, my ICOM in the, uh, in the office and have actually made a screen uh, recording where there's Arbitron showing the International Space Station on the track and there's MMSS TV for the decoding of images if we can get anything. So I'm going to start the recording here. Record. That is a nice functionality of this radio. It's sad that, like I said, it has so many flaws because here we go. So you see here, this is uh, this was a pretty impressive receive when you think about it, uh, considering that it's now close to 40 degrees in altitude. It's actually right now south of me, so it's like if the camera is there and I'm looking at you guys, it's like behind the camera about 40 degrees up in the sky. So that was a nice audio recording. That should me give me a pretty good picture. And of course, like I said, the next video for this uh, setup is going to be taking that sound and decoding the pictures on the computer. Um, what I probably will do is maybe plug the audio in the console and 
and use as MSS uh, SSTV on the the PC to the code. Um, telescopic only, as you see. You don't need that much, you know. Even if it would be a rubber duck, it would still work. Maybe a little less efficient than this, but it would still work. Notice how I moved a lot. When the signal starts to fade, move, because you'll see that in a different position, there's a different. Uh, the signal varies a lot, and just a few inches or a few centimeters can be enough to actually make a difference between, um, you know, a clear signal or no signal at all. So there's a pause between each transmission. Once that pause is done, they're going to start and send another image, which I'm going to try to record once again, that new image here, uh, using the ICOM ICR30. And uh, it's a lot of fun to, uh, to do this, and it's kind of a cool uh, day for that also. It's very beautiful outside. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe with the audio, it's maybe possible even for you guys to decode pictures off of the audio I'm actually giving out here. So uh, let's... Signal should be coming up soon. It's there, but very weak. Oh, look at that. It's very weak on the second pass here, so I'm not going to cut a second picture, that's for sure. Uh, one of the biggest problems probably I have is it's going down on that side. If you guys have seen a little bit of my balcony in the back, there's a uh, metal shed here, so maybe it's actually blocking the signal right now. But at least we got one picture, so we're going to decode that picture in another video and uh, see what it actually brings us. And I am also listening on my discount. I don't know if the recording is going fine or not. Uh, it's going to be a surprise um, and see um, how it goes. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.